How old do you think this is? I would say uh, at least hundred some years old. I mean, look at the wood and the and the what do you call it, patina on this thing? It's crazy. Okay. Oh wait, go. I think you're ready. Oh god. Oh my god. Please come out. It will. It will. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That looks good. We're the Leung family, and in 2013, we started a food blog called The Walks of Life. It began as a family side project. And eventually evolved into a journey of documenting our culinary genealogy for readers from around the world. The blog has gathered a wonderful virtual community and been recognized as the online authority for Chinese cooking in English. Spicy? I mean, it's spicy. It's not too spicy, but it's spicy. It's spicy. You could say sometimes there are too many leung cooks in the kitchen. But we wouldn't have it any other way. The Autumn Festival. It is a tradition that has been going on for thousands of years. When I think about my childhood and sort of the, the Chinese traditions that were kept alive, it's like making dumplings with grandma. And we're going to make these foods that are, you know, maybe a bit more labor intensive. Yeah, that's the oil. <laughs> As a kid, that's kind of the time where you learn like those what those traditions are and what they look like. Do you actually remember that when the fish were jumping when you were oh, yeah. in the lotus roots? I have the, like, uh, the fish jumping in my, in my head. While, while they're like big actually carbs. in the yeah. mud taking the yeah, lotus roots out? Yeah, because you know what? The, the, the water level was, was so low that all the fish was like, what, what's happening, you know? Wow. The stuffed lotus root is actually very regional. It's from Hubei. It's really, really very tasty. It's kind of labor intensive, but it's worth it. You make this meat mixture by whipping the meat with the, the different sauces and stuff. And you have to stir it in one direction. So what happens if you stir it in both directions? Will anything bad really happen? You know what? I read it one time. If you stir it in one direction, the meat absorbs the, uh, the mm -hmm. water. And if you start to do the other way, the me will spit out water. I'm like, I never try that. I'm, I'm afraid it to try it. It sounds like one of those Chinese, like, grandma, mom, old wives yes, tale things yes, where you're yes. like, is that? Yeah, it's like, how real is it that? Might, I have to try regardless, it. Regardless, I don't want to find out. I then don't. you cut a half inch of the lotus root, and then you slice the half inch in the middle without cutting it through. Yeah, do that too. Yeah, yeah that's So easier. you want me to put yeah. the meat now? Yes, you do that. Oh. I think my mom takes on a lot of like the responsibility of making those super traditional recipes that are honestly a lot more complicated too. I can't believe we make our own moon cakes now. Yeah. You know, it's just good for the younger generations to have a helping hand in that, so you can see how much effort it takes, you know? Mm -hmm. I think, like, my mom's yeah. always talking about that. When somebody cooks for you, like, it's so important to be aware of, like, how much care and time and effort goes into it so that you can really appreciate it and, you know, also learn something, too. Nice. Okay, so you do it. Okay. You do it. Oh, my goodness. Press it in. Press it hard. I'm being entrusted with this. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow! wow. Perfect. You perfect, see, you, tr you okay, trust the right person. So you know what you do in this case? You kind of just jam the egg yolk in there. Just like that. That's up. right, that's right, yes. So the salted duck eggs, it's slightly mm -hmm. salty, but it has a nice eggy and umami flavor. I feel like salted duck egg yolk in China is like chili oil here. Yeah, it's like, crazy. Everybody loves it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK, I feel good about this. What do you think? should be rounder. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yes. Press okay? it tight. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yes, very nice. Okay. Don't. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. Uh -huh. I usually try to listen to what my mother tells me to do, and so <laughs> I feel like I was very attentive during the mooncaking process to make sure I didn't get anything wrong. It's the dough is, and you make sure you press out all the air Here's bubbles. It. Yeah, let's do this first. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is the moment. Okay, okay. and then you press it. This is the moment. This piece comes out very easy. That. Oh my god, it looks pretty. I think it's a good one. Please come out. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's oh. so cute. This is the best mold. Yeah, like that. Can I make one? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. How, how about I? <laughs> How about I prep it for you? I so much hesitation. As with anything, there are, yeah, you know, so trial and error. Oh, okay, that's it. But that's it. I think I got through it pretty good. So press the way out. I don't feel confident. <laughs> you could do this? Okay, yeah, let, me do. let me do. <laughs> let me okay, do. Okay, I'll uh, watch it. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Okay. This is literally the first time you've ever let me do this. Yeah. Okay, both hands, gently. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We got some pretty moon cakes out of it. Well, I thought you guys did an awesome job. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying I'm let gonna go, hold it go, down. You're like, you're messing up my moon cake. Oh, that's good. Yes. I think they turned out really they nice. Out yeah, well, okay, there you go. Nice. It's always also good for me and Sarah to help out with those kinds of recipes, because I think we also bring like a little bit of a different perspective too. So what are the origins of this ketchup shrimp recipe? Ketchup shrimp. My mom's ketchup shrimp. Your mama's ketchup shrimp. You know, the beauty of it is it's one of those simple dishes that, but very good that you can serve um, at a fancy meal. It's interesting that you say fancy because it is literally called ketchup <laughs> shrimp. Like what are the origins of it, like using ketchup? For it. You know, that's a good question. I, I mean, ketchup shrimp is, is like a thing because we have it on the blog and, uh, and, and people are like, oh yeah, my mom used to cook that too. So, you know, it's kind of a homey meal. You peel the shrimp, butterfly them a little bit and uh, sear them in hot oil. And then we put in the sauce and it coats it. That, that, that crispiness of the shrimp on, on the outside just soaks in all that sauce. And it's on the table. Probably uh, behind uh, Chinese New Year, this is the most important dinner of the year. And it's family. About family, and, you know, the harvest time and a time to be thankful. It's very much like Thanksgiving, you know. Hi. Family all come back together, and I guess you can't celebrate without food. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Excellent. I think that holidays are one of those things that help people preserve traditions across generations. I just wanted to say a toast. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival to everybody. Thank you. Let's Thanks eat. for having us. Thank you Beautiful. for having us. Cheers. 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 Pass your bowls. Yeah, pass your bowls. Pass your bowls. On a project like the Walks of Life, working with your family, it can be challenging, but it's particularly rewarding because it's about sharing not just recipes but also stories and memories. This is great guys. Yes. And it's also for us to look back on when we when we get older or the next generation comes. I think the blog actually really is a place we lock in our memories. <laughs> What I think is in the background is very, very big. Is that it keeps it keeps our family really close. Yes. I think, and I think that's very big. Yes, it does. <laughs>